This tutorial is really not good for my self-esteem. <laughs> basic, they say. Basic. Hey beauties, it's Viviana and today! A lot of you guys have been sending me these videos of some really complicated looking braids. And I have to ask myself, these braids for long you know I decided to go over to YouTube and I searched for basic braids and I was kind of insulted by what some of these youtubers call basic because I know I'm a at braiding I mean a girl got some skills you know but basic for who? <laughs> you know what we're not going to judge a whole video by the thumbnail, but instead, we're going to follow along with this braid tutorial from another braid. Eight basic braids, how to braid for beginners. Even though this thumbnail absolutely scares me, we don't see texture. But we see fundamental differences where applying the same technique and rules could actually cause a disaster. But let's see how these braids turn out. For the tutorial we'll be following along with today, she has her hair all pulled to the side and that is how she's demonstrating these basic braids. However, I'm already intimidated by the looks of these braids. I don't need all my hair involved to make it worse. So I'm gonna put my hair up in these two little ponytails and I'm going to try to complete each of the eight braids on these smaller sections. Man, this thumbnail. Woo, this thumbnail. <laughs> all right. So the first one is a three strand braid. For me, that's a plait. So yeah, I would consider a plait a basic braid. And I know it's not everybody know how to plait, but it's usually one of the first braid most people learn to do. And just like that, we're almost finished with our first basic braid. Okay. And we haven't just stopped right there at a regular plait. She now pulls on each. Oh, that's why she never plats all the way down to the end. So to prevent it from getting too fluffy and untidy looking, I'm only going to be pulling a tiny amount of hair at a time. I think it looks pretty nice. And it was basic enough. We just did a fluffy plait. <laughs> yes! I can do that. In Jamaica, we call that a rope twist. And yeah, it's pretty basic. With a rope twist, you're actually kind of pre-twisting each of the strands before twisting them together. So you might notice that a rope twist is kind of tighter and neater. Yeah, I'd call this basic. Chain braid. This one look rough. Separate hair into two equal sections. I can't just fling my hair over my shoulder like that, so. Ooh, <laughs> let's keep it out of the way. Start by making rope braids with the two sections. So let's rope twist this. Wrap the two rope braids together away from your face. Is that it? 
This is a chain bread. Damn, I really did misjudge this tutorial. I think my chain braid actually just look like two rope twists twist together. I tried. Damn, okay, five. That's a lot. Divide your hair into five strands. Try and make them as equal as possible. One, two, three, four, and back. I need to press play. Hold on. Okay. The trick is to hold the two outer strands in one hand. Continue by going over under. Over. Under. Over. Under. What? Hold on. Give me a second to study this a little bit. One second. Over. Under. Grab. Switch hands. Over. And it is only now Under. that I've realized that for this, the hardest braid out of the entire video. I'm out of frame the entire time. <laughs> I was so busy focusing in the mirror on trying to get this braid right that clearly I forgot about you guys and it's only my head top you can see. And even though I was eventually able to do the five strand braid, this wasn't basic. did this i did this i did it i did it who did it i did it <gasps> ah, this one did not come easy let's hope the next one is easier oh fishtail braid at least i'm a little familiar with that one make a ponytail and separate the hair into two sections grab a third smaller piece from the left section that's this one and add it to the right section hmm. all right now grab a smaller piece from the right section and add it to the left section left section to right section right section to left section, left section, right section, right section, to left section. Okay, so she gets in a little extra with it and as she goes along, she is pulling out the sides. And I hope that turns out good for me. So she'll loosen the little tiny section. Friction is real. I think we're going to end this here. I feel some of the strands getting way too short. Loosening the braid just makes it look like a thicker version of the same braid, but it's a fishtail braid. <laughs> All right, four strand braid. Divide the hair into four equal strands. The pattern is over, under, over. 
that looks simple enough. Over, under, over, over, under, over. Over, under. Over. Oh, now fingers. And this braid is over. <laughs> Ooh. All right, that one wasn't so bad. You can give me that one, right? 3D French braid. Whoa. Wish me luck. If you've been enjoying this video and you haven't skipped a thing, answer this question to be featured in my next intro. Alright, no written instructions on this one. Just visual. You know it's real. So she it seems like she has three sections first. Then she take the outside section. She split it open. Open and she pulled this through. Pull the middle section through. Oh, okay. Open the outer section again. Ooh, my fingers are confused. And pull the middle section through. Open the end section. Bring through the middle section. Close it. Open the end section, bring through the middle section, close it. Am I doing it? I can't see it yet. It's like once you reach down to the middle, your fingers start knowing exactly what to do. Because I'm not even thinking about it right now. Hmm. Like it has like the braiding pattern in like a little 3D square. Stay down. Stay down. Flick. Flick. It's not gonna stay down. <laughs> the technique for the next braid is the same as the previous braid but you only pancake the bottom ends as you go. What's a pancake? Did we learn a pancake? When did we learn pancake? Oh! That fluffing, pulling out thing is called a pancake. Now we know. Well, now I know. <laughs> My pancake hasn't been going well so far. So, I don't think this is gonna go well. <laughs> Pancake the bottom ends as you go. So these okay. You know what? I must I'm I'm a, I'm a finish this hair. <coughs> I've run out of hair. Like it's gotten really thin. Cause I'm pulling all the hair up. So yeah. My hair's a little too short for this. Um but I got a little pancake in. in. It, it was a little pancake. Or or dumpling. Which of do you want to go with? I mean, you can see the resemblance. <laughs> so this is the first version of the 3D French braid. And this is the second version. 
with the pancaking. Oh, another 3D braid. Well, I didn't really like my first chain braid, but hopefully this 3D chain braid turns out better. The pattern for this braid is under, under, then back over. Under, under, back over. Her instructions are really helpful. Under, under, back over. Under, under, back over. You see the chain braid? Okay, 3D chain braid. I like it. You can leave it like this or you can pancake the ends for a fuller look. We're good, we're done. We can leave it like this. Pancake isn't for us, okay? Not so basic after all. I mean, once you catch the pattern, it really wasn't that bad, but yeah. Just like anything else in life, we'll probably get better at it with a little more practice. So we probably shouldn't be too harsh on ourselves because it is the first time we're trying these unique styles. At least they were unique to me, okay? Let me know down below which one of the braids were your favorite. I personally think that my favorite was the plait. <laughs> and my second favorite braid is the 3D chain braid. This one that I just did. I don't know why. That was pretty cool. I think that one would even look nicer with some gel, a little foaming mousse, tie it down a little bit so it can set. You know? Take down those flyaways. Okay beauties, don't forget to share the video if you enjoyed it and also give me a thumbs up if you're not convinced by this one video that you just watched that you should subscribe. videos over the iCard for you to watch and hopefully those videos will convince you. Okay beauties, thanks again for watching!